Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking chawamushi or Japanese steam egg. So let's start cooking. We're now going to prepare the egg mixture. I have with me over here three pieces of egg. Per piece is between 56 to 60 gram around there. I'll be adding in half a teaspoon of salt. Now if you're wondering why I did not use soya sauce is because I want my egg custard or chawamushi to be a very light yellowish color. We will need to mix this up together. The proportion of chicken stock or daishi stock to egg will be one to between 1.5 to 1.6. That's a very good proportion. It's not too watery, neither is it way too firm. I'm adding in 280 milliliters of chicken stock. This chicken stock has been sorted already. That's the reason why I did not add too much salt in my egg mixture. Instead of chicken stock, you can also use daishi stock. Once this is done, we'll pour this through a sieve to get rid of any bubbles or semi-solid that's inside this mixture. Right, you can see all this. This is not what we want inside our egg custard. So we remove this and we pour this into our bowls or chawamushi cups. I don't have a chawamushi cup, so I'm going to use this. Just slowly pour in the egg mixture. Do it until it's about slightly three quarter full and we'll stop there. I prepare some shimeji mushroom also. I'll be putting two inside this cup. You can add whatever ingredients you want. If you see any bubbles, just remove them. After this is done, we'll go ahead to steam them. I'll pour a pot of water to steam the chawamushi. Make sure that your fire setting is on low. We don't want the water to be boiling vigorously. Otherwise, bubbles will form onto your chawamushi. Place your chawamushi in. Put the lid on and using a chopstick, you leave a small gap over here so that the water will not overboil. We'll steam the chawamushi for 20 minutes and then we'll add in our prawns. I'll see you back in a while. 20 minutes is up, let's have a look. We have covered the bowls because we don't want it to have crater forming from the droplets that drop onto the eggs. If you don't have cover, you can always wrap them up with baking paper. Look at how beautiful this is. We will add our shrimps in now. I have with me over here 25 grams of prawns which I've cut into small pieces like this. Just lay them onto the egg custard. Look at how wobbly the custard is. Beautiful. So after we have done this, we will cover this up again and let this boil for another 10 minutes. Just to make sure that the prawns are cooked. 10 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Right. Done perfectly. And now we'll have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. I so, so love chawamushi. This soft, eggy is really, really good. Mm. This is really very comforting for the soul, for the body, especially on a cold day. I super love this. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you love our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.